Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Tadria, and welcome to another episode of The Sisters. And we are here serving injured souls to encourage, rejuvenate, and strengthen your spiritual healing. One seed, one question, and one conversation at a time. Hey, guys, listen, really quick before we jump into this segment, we just want to say thank you for tuning in to us for our first couple of episodes. The feedback has been extremely positive and extremely encouraging to us. And we just really thank you from the bottom of our heart. Okay, so we have two guests with us today. We have my sister in love and we have my we have my sister, sorry, and my brother in love sitting with us today. So we are going to tap tackle the topic of forgiveness. Okay. So okay guys, go ahead and tell everybody, hey. Hey, how you doing? I hope you had a wonderful day. Hello, how are you? Okay, guys, so check this out. We are not going to prolong the time, so we're just going to jump right in. Guys, can you tell me what forgiveness means to you? Yes, forgiveness means to me that you can let go of pain someone has put on you, uh, when someone has hurt you in a, in a certain kind of way, and you can just... Uh, let it go and forgive them, not bring it back up to them, not throw it in their face, but truly forgive them and, and go on with uh, your relationship. Okay, I can agree with that, sis. How about you? What does forgiveness mean to you? Um, absolutely, I agree. Um, I believe that, yes, when someone has, has wronged you, hurt you, um, spoke ill of you, our, our job is to forgive. And one of the things that we have to understand also is that even in forgiveness, um, in order for the Lord to be God, you know, we want God to forgive us. We need to show some kind of love to other people to forgive them as well. I agree with that wholeheartedly. And you know how we were taught at one point that forgiveness is like a cancer, right? So Absolutely. when you're walking around with unforgiveness in your heart, then it's like you're walking around with unnecessary weight. And that unnecessary weight turns into um, a cancer and it tends to spread. Absolutely. And one of the things that unforgiveness does to us as believers is it turns into mental illness. Absolutely. It turns into um, issues with our bodies. It turns into issues with our attitudes and just our overall growth. Yes. Right. So yes. speaking of which, we know how forgiveness affects us as believers. Which one of you would like to chime in to try to explain to some of us out there how forgiveness affects those that don't believe? I think that people that don't believe that I think they they never had that foundation of of forgiveness because I think that's uh, when you, when you believe and you know that there is a God that you. Uh, learn to forgive and learn to love your fellow man. And uh, that that's kind of what I, I believe in. Sissy, what about you? I agree. I think that um, ones that are not um, believers, it is very important that we are to to give them space because unbelievers a little bit is way different than Christian. So we still have to have a, a level of understanding in their behalf because Ooh. they are unbelievers. So I think that once we uh, generate that level of forgiveness, even when they wronged us and they have a whole different mindset, mm -hmm. if we be able to show um, some type of level of understanding from them, I think that then grows even the unbeliever, you know, unbeliever. 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 That's okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. You know what? So that brings me to a whole nother question. So are you saying that even though we believe we can love a non-believer into forgiveness? Because even though they don't believe, forgiveness is still important for them as well. They just tend to forgive on a different level than we do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you like to elaborate on that? Yeah, I, I think that if you show people understanding and you show people love and you show people how 
how to forgive, I think that they can learn and I think that they can be shown and I think that their hearts may be able to be softened. Because I think that when you don't forgive, you have a hard heart and uh, you have to, to learn that, that everything doesn't center around you. Everything is, is not that important and not that things are not going to hurt you as bad as you think they are. You just have to learn to just let it go because it will. It will fester inside of you and you won't get any rest. And that other person is going around not even thinking about it. And you're holding it on and they're just going on with life. So you have to learn to to, to forgive and forget. You, you'll never forget it, but you have to just put it aside. You know, that's my, my take on it. Well, that's listen, good. I was going to let him preach this. What yeah, about absolutely. That was I was good. about to jump up and pass him an offering over here. Very so good. listen, you mean to tell me that being hurt by somebody, you can actually just forgive them for what they've done after they've hurt you and badmouth you and tormented you for no reason at all? You really mean to tell me that you can just forgive just like that? Yes, yes, I can. I just, I, I think that that the way I was brought up in the church and the way that I was taught at home to forgive someone, I, I think that made it much easier for me. And also my personality, I, I just, I'm, I'm not a person that holds things in. I'm not a person that's vindictive and I'm not a, and I, and I, I just believe in forgiveness and it, it just takes so much more effort to hold hold hate in and then it is to just let it go. I agree with that. Also, I want to say on that too, is that yes, when you're hurt and you're and you hold it into that, he's absolutely correct. You end up, you know, they going on and, and you suffering. But listen, also you gotta realize is that it may not just be words that somebody has done to you. It could be mm. something physical that someone has done to you. And yes, physical is a little bit more different than words, although words are hurtful. But even when it comes to physical, we still have to have a level of forgiveness. Come on. Now, do it hurt worse? So that depends on the circumstances, because not only is it hurting you, but it becomes to hurt your family, your children, whomever. But guess what? We still have to somehow get into that frame of mind that if we're going to live and conquer right, we have from a Christian perspective, we have to forgive from an unbeliever perspective. It's just going to have to be that we understand and understand them. Do we understand them from a point of, um, well, I've been there and I know but sometimes it's more than I've been there and I know sometimes that hurtful unbeliever is not the same as for us. So we have to be able to have patience Come on. with them. And then somebody may say, well, what you mean patience? I've been hurt so many times. I'm not going to have patience anymore. Well, from an unbeliever standpoint, they have a whole different mindset. Again, as we said earlier in the program, but we just have to be able to trust trust that we can kind of win them over from that perspective of not forgiving. Okay, I agree with that wholeheartedly. And, you know, it's amazing how things would get twisted around because I had a whole different set of questions for you, but now this brings me, do you remember the book that I cannot remember the author and forgive me, I will come back and, and put it in the description later when I remember what it is, so I apologize for that guys, but do you remember the movie The Shack? Oh, I do remember the movie The Shack. We love the movie The Shack. Yes. Okay, so speaking of the movie The Shack, mm -hmm. The Shack was basically a movie about forgiveness. Absolutely. It was a book about forgiveness. forgiveness. Yes. Right? And when it came to a certain part of the movie, the author showed in the movie that just because you're my child, you have to remember that my child also hurt you. Yes. So as a parent, as yes. a father, yes. I have to forgive 
and I have to love you both. Yes. I can't love one of you more than I love the other of you because one of you hurt the other. I have to love you both the same. Right? Absolutely. So there came a point when the main character in the shack had to make a choice. Mm -hmm. right? right? So he had to make a choice to either forgive right. or not to forgive. Absolutely. Forgiveness took him back to his family. Mm -hmm. Unforgiveness they never show where that was going to take went. him. Absolutely. But he lived a life of pain because he held unforgiveness in his heart, right? So let's look at it from this perspective. If the main character in the shack was not a believer, do you believe, and this is just strictly your opinion, do you believe that had he not been a believer? Because if you think about it, he was on the verge of no longer believing. Absolutely. He was on the verge of no longer being able to trust God because his daughter, his baby girl, had been kidnapped mm -hmm. and molested yes. by another one of God's children. <laughs> right? Yes. So in the movie, when it all came back around, mm -hmm. it showed where God was his mother, mm -hmm. God was his friend, uh, yes. and God was his father, yes. and God was his priest. Yes. And all four elements of God, right? Mm -hmm. At that point, that's All right. Good. Gave him a choice. Yes. yes. To forgive. Yes. So as an unbeliever, mm -hmm. somebody on the verge of no longer believing, mm. being faced with one of God's children. Right. Right. Doing harm to them, mm -hmm. doing harm to somebody they love. And then standing at the gate saying, now, can you forgive me mm. as an unbeliever? What does that say? That says a whole lot. Um, and when I say it says a whole lot from an unbeliever perspective, as what we're talking about, that could be a hard thing to do. But when you are really ready to change and you see, even though you see that person that has done that, which was a shack, you know, that's that's difficult. But can it be done? Absolutely. It can be done. How do you get there? Well, it takes a lot. Okay, so... I think, first of all, it's going to take faith. Hmm, How do but we you get that as an unbeliever? Right. How do unbeliever. we get that? But that's where Christians come in at. We as Christians have to be able to show that forgiveness so that unbeliever, you're making me a little excited. Come on, girl. So that the, so that the unbeliever then can know how to do those things. They won't be able to know if they can't see what we supposed to be doing as Christians, as my husband has said it before, it's how you raise and how that foundation is. And then then we have to be able to have that same compassion so that that unbeliever can can just know who God is just mm. by that forgiveness. Because something that unbeliever would do to you, can you as a Christian really forgive? Come on. And so you have to be able to show that instead of always talking. And you have to show it. Hmm. My, 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 my. Listen, I'm getting excited over here. Okay, so, bro, tell me this. Did you have to overcome anything to learn or to teach yourself to forgive? Uh, yes, I think I think people have lots of things in life that that set up, uh, in front of them that they have to learn to forgive. You have to live, learn to forgive coworkers, brothers and sisters. Mothers and fathers, you know, it's a lot of things that happen to people in life that if you if you don't forgive and you hold on to it, it's like we said, it's a cancer. It just eats you up inside, and you and you can't you can't live, truly live your life because you worry so much about how you was how how they treated you or how they done you wrong. You you can't even go on with life. You just you hurting all the time and. You, and and that's no good. That's no good. You have to let go of it. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy to let go. But you have to you have to constantly pray about it. You have to understand that you cannot change. You cannot change it. It's the past. And you have to go on, go on with your life, go on and be happy. And and uh, you'll, you'll just have a much better life if you can let things go and forgive people. You know what? I agree with that because that there was a particular 
part of my life when I was just really bitter, right? Mm -hmm. So when I made up my mind that I was going to understand the root of my bitterness mm -hmm. and to figure out why I was just so angry, mm -hmm. it literally stemmed from unforgiveness. Oh, my, my, my. Right? Yes. Because I was literally walking around because I was mad at everybody. Yes. Right? So I was mad at my ex-husband. I was mad at my mama. I was mad at my daddy. Now, don't nobody know why I was mad at my daddy. The man was gone. Mm -hmm. Right? He died when I was one year old. Now, why am I mad at that man? Right? right? I was mad at my stepfather. I was mad at my sister. I don't know why I was mad at my sister because everybody knows that I love my sister my to pieces. Right? right? So I, don't know. I was mad at her. I was mad at the world. My money wasn't right. My attitude wasn't right. My mm -hmm. mouth wasn't right. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't right. Mm -hmm. So when you get down to the root of the thing and you're trying to figure out, listen, I was sick. I was chunky. Right. Nothing in my life seemed to be going right. So when I really got down to it and to be perfectly honest, when I got down to it, I wasn't at the point of my life where I could say I was a full believer. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I got down to why am I so angry? Why is my money not right? Why is my life not right? My, why? Why are my kids acting crazy? Mm -hmm. Right. How come people around me acting crazy? How come my job not right? Unforgiveness. That's good. Yes. Right? So when you're walking around, you have to make up your mind that forgiveness is not for the other people, other person. <laughs> forgiveness is for you. Yes. That's right? Good. Mm -hmm. So when you're able to allow, even if you at a point where you don't believe in God, mm -hmm. When you make up your mind that you're just going to allow yourself to be cleaned out by whatever entity at this point you feel in my life, I'm a believer. So I had to make up my mind that I was just going to let God create in me a clean heart for yes. real and renew in me a right spirit. Yes. But that was me. Yes. yes. But I can't say that even still I was a believer. Right. I was on the fence. Mm -hmm. And I was reminded during that season that when you hot or cold, even God gonna spew you out. That's so you right. gotta choose. That's it. But even then, because I wasn't a full believer, mm -hmm. I was like, spit me out of it. Right. Right? Right. But I also had to understand that forgiving other people wasn't about them. Right. They say all the time, that's just like eating rat poison, waiting on the rat to die. Mm -hmm. No, you gonna die. Yes. So that's what it is when it comes to holding on to unforgiveness. Yes. Nothing goes right until you let it go. Mm -hmm. And then you just allow things to just flow. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. You know, it's so, not, it's not hurting anybody but yourself. It's hurting you. When you don't forgive, it's not hurting anybody else but yourself. You just can't go on. You just, every time you, you think of that situation or every time you see that person or every time that you know, you even hear the person's voice, it puts you in a bad frame of mind. It puts you in a in a low place. And and you just can't go on with life like that. You have to learn to let it go. You have to learn to pray about it. You have to learn to accept what happened and go on with your life. Because if you don't accept it and go on with your life, you're going to be miserable the rest of your life. So Forgiveness is everything. Forgiveness Listen, that's the truth. I agree. But here's the flip side to that. When I was going through my season of partially believing mm -hmm. and on the fence of not believing, mm -hmm. I didn't want to hear nobody tell me to pray about it. Right. Absolutely. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. So even though we're believers mm -hmm. and we're sitting here, we still have to understand and we still have to remain have to remember that not everybody out there is like us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you have to be mindful Absolutely. because everything today says cancel them, cancel them, cancel them. Can't do that. You can't just cancel no. being able to forgive. Absolutely. So because we can't just cancel being able to forgive. Talk to us about um, forgiveness versus the cutoff culture, which is where we are now. Absolutely. So you have to be careful with that because forgiveness versus cutoff 
So say you did forgive, but you don't want to talk to them no more. Are you really forgiven? Have you really forgave them? Ooh. Because that becomes the issue. Because if I say I forgive somebody, but I want to cut them off, I have to re-examine, did I really do it for myself? Or did I do it just because I don't want to be bothered with them no more and I just want to let them go? So we have to be very mindful when we talk about forgiveness and then, okay, I'm going to forgive you, but I ain't want to talk to you no more. I don't think that's forgiveness. I don't either. Come I on. think if you forgive someone, that you continue to have a relationship with them. It may not be as strong as it was, but you still have a relationship with someone. When you forgive them, you just don't cut them off. That's not forgiveness. That's okay. You done it to me, and I'm not talking to you no more. You might as well say that. That's not forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is when you forgive in your heart, and you can continue to have a relationship. You continue. You continue to love. Them. You can continue to care about that person. Uh, but you. Just cutting them off is not, that's, that's not love. That's not forgiveness. And that's not the way to be, you know. You might as well have told that person, well, forget you. I, I ain't forgiving you. You go on with your life and I'll go on with mine. That's the truth. That's the, that's the truth. That is the absolute truth. And I want to say this. Only the cut off and the forgiveness, that's, you know, knowing from, even from a Christian or unbeliever standpoint we mm -hmm. still have to we, you, just because you're an unbeliever and you say i forgive you you can't do the same thing either we have to learn and merge that thing together so you can continue to be right but i want to talk from the christian point of view okay we at church and we've given our tithes and we've given our offering and you have unforgiveness or bitterness in your heart you might, it, well, you might as well not even give it yeah. i think it's very important that we understand that we don't give our tithes and our offering i don't know why i'm going here but we don't give our tithes and our offering predicate on anything other than giving it to Christ. But just like if you have something in your heart and you're giving your tithes, the Bible says, keep it. Is it not what it says? That's what it says. Now, so even when it comes to forgiveness, how can you give something to the Lord and you have unforgiveness for somebody else? Hmm. How is that possible? It's not. I don't know why I went there, but... I know exactly why you went there. Yeah. So it's almost like um, if you're going to do something for me, when it comes to an, an unbeliever, mm -hmm. if you see me and I'm sitting on the side of the road and I'm hungry, right? Mm -hmm. And you buy me a meal. Mm -hmm. If you're not buying me a meal from the bottom of your heart, keep it. That's right. Don't buy me a meal with your right hand, mm -hmm. but you video on with your left hand for social media to say, this is what I did for this person. Absolutely. That's not from your heart. That's not from your keep heart. It. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, you're not hurting me because you bought me a meal Absolutely. or because you didn't. You hurt yourself Absolutely. because of the um, the level of your heart Absolutely. at the time mm -hmm. that you did it. Absolutely. It must right? be pure. You have to have a pure heart because mm -hmm. if your heart ain't pure, then what's the purpose? Yes. I have literally enjoyed this conversation yes. on this okay. evening. Like, I am excited for real. Yes, very good. Very. Good I am excited that you guys came out to hang with me to talk about forgiveness. Guys, I think we are going to stay in the vein for forgiveness. We have a lot of um, information to give you. We have a lot of discussions to have when it comes to forgiveness because there's a lot of people today that's dealing with different levels of forgiveness yes. and being able to forgive. And you may hear somebody in the next couple of episodes come up that is struggling to forgive because of some of the things that they have going on in their own lives right now. So just be on the lookout for some of the new episodes that's coming out. And y'all, guess what? I am so sisterly proud of my brother right here. Y'all got to understand, he does not talk. No, he does not. <laughs> He nods his head when you ask him a question and don't ask him a question that's going to take more than five words because you may not get an answer. So when I tell you I am honored that he has taken the time to conversate with me, especially about something as confrontational as forgiveness, yeah. 
I am so honored to be sitting here with him and having this conversation right now. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for hanging out with me and talking to the people. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I enjoyed I enjoyed the topic. I enjoyed the, the conversation. Listen, y'all, I was ready to send him an offering because for a minute I thought he was going <laughs> to preach. I was about to get up and run around this room and just let him have it. Just pass him the mic and just let him have it. Right? Okay, so everybody, that is like the perfect spot to hang our hat this evening. Is there anything really quick that you guys would like to say to the people regarding forgiveness? Just learn to forgive and let it go. Because if you're not, if not, you're going to be unhappy the rest of your life. Look at that. And you don't want to be unhappy for the rest of your life. But listen, guys, join us for our next episode. We have some juicy stuff coming up for you. So just listen. We are just somebody trying to tell everybody about one body who can save anybody. Guys, that's our show today. Tune in next time, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.